So, you're here because you want to see some fan games, right? The best of the best are the fan games for 2021, right? Well, we're going to get right into that, not only to waste any of your time, but not to waste any of my sanity because I am severely behind schedule with this video. So, this intro is going to be a very short one, alright? And you all know the deal, the Sonic community is a very passionate one in many ways. And over the years, this community has been making fan game after fan game with some proven to be majorly successful. Others have potential but not ever been updated for years on end. Gonna be known that the game is actually still being updated, but the game hasn't had any public downloads for years on end, which is what I mean. But the dev is still doing some hard work at this game, so it so it will be coming out eventually, y'all. So stay tuned for that. And others falling flat on his face with lack of direction, internal petty development team drama, and etc. And now that you have the best description of the fan game in this community, let me showcase to you this year's top 10 best on fan games. And note that these are obviously an opinion of mine and not a objectively ranked tier list. And also that not every game dropped this year because a game on this list could have had a big update this year, which is why it makes the list. So yeah, feel free to comment down below any game that I missed that you wanted me to talk about. And without further ado, let's start the list for the top 10 best on a fan game for 2021. Let's go. Okay, let's just take it from the top. From the bottom of the list, we got ourselves Sonic Omens. Okay, that's right. Yeah, I know this game uh, has some controversy surrounding it. The owner tried to make profit off the fan game, so that's obviously very stupid and bad and, and could harm the community in many ways. Yeah, but I'm just here to really just look, deliver on what the game did for the community and, and what it really provided us was with a bunch of good graphics, uh, pretty okay music, all right? If I'm gonna be honest, the state design sucks. It's a very buggy game. The boost formula does not work with the type of state design that they actually have in the game, so I had to have it on the list just because I wasn't really sure about what else to really have on this list that made like such a huge impact. Whether or not the impact is actually good is up to us to determine, so <laughs> it kinda sucks. So um it's here and regardless, it's here, so I had to add it for y'all. And uh it's number 10 on this list, so. Alright, so basically this fan game, which is a Sonic Triple Trouble, a 16-bit aims to basically uh, recreate the original Sonic Triple Trouble, but in the 16-bit format, you know, with better graphics, of course, better audio design, a better stage design, there's a new level that was actually released for this year's Sage, and also some enemy tweaks and all that kind of stuff, and the game looks pretty good so far, you know. Other uh, drop dashes in it, of course. Uh, there's some boss battles, of course. You can fight Knack and Knuckles and one of the robots that are in the game. And it's pretty cool. A pretty good recreation of a older Sonic game. You know, love to see that, of course, in the community. And yeah, this is why it makes number nine on this list. Obviously, the game is not finished yet, but be sure to go try it for yourself. Next up, we got Sonic Riders X, all right? So this is a basically true, true HD version of the OG Sonic Riders, okay? So they're making the entire game in Unity. Uh, it's very HD, as you see. It's a very work in progress build of the game because it this is like some sections that aren't even actually like loaded into the game yet. Some glitches, of course. It's a bit weird, but they're gonna get it, I imagine, pretty soon. So only Sonic Tails and Knuckles are available right now. So I imagine they're gonna add more characters in the future, all right? But, for what it is right now, Sonic Riders X seems pretty good. Uh, there's currently four stages right now. Uh, there's Metal City, Splash Canyon, the Dream Racing stage in the new Mario and Sonic game that just released in 2019, and then a test area, the playground um, the area and all that. So, yeah, but the graphics are definitely like, the main selling point for this game, I'd say. So feel free to download that, of course. It is very graphically uh, intensive, so that's a fair one right there, but yeah. 
All right, so next on this list, we got ourselves Sonic Rush 3D, another recreation of an older Sonic game. So what this game intends to do is obviously to port the original Sonic Rush on Nintendo DS onto the 3D platform and make it a whole 3D game, of course, with its original controls, all the tricks on all that, both Sonic and Blaze, etc. And this demo provides us with only one stage right now, which is Water Palace, which takes place also in part of Apple from Sonic Unleashed. Uh, only Sonic is available right now, but they're gonna add Blaze and Adventure in a newer update, so stay tuned for that, okay? And there's already a, a big update that was released, which should tweak some of the uh, controls from the feedback that the fans gave them. And it's a pretty good game now. Pretty good game, so I'm excited to have more updates up for this game in the future. So be sure to uh, play that, of course. It looks very good. But there is some work that can be made to the game, of course. The stage design can be tweaked to adjust how open some of the levels are and all that. Very appealing to many people, so yeah. Alright, next up we got ourselves Sonic Momentum, which this game has been made for about a few years now, since 2019 I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but the demo just released this past year of course, so be sure to try that out. But yeah, so this game basically is the momentum based gameplay that we've all been trying to wait for in the mainline Sonic game for so long, okay? Like the entire moveset is just based around momentum, okay? Like you can't just spin dash up a surface anymore, you actually have to like roll out of your spin dash and then keep running. Okay, like there's new controls and all that. Like the home attack is different than it normally is. You gotta hold B to home and attack. Like there's some different kind of like uh, boss rush type stuff. Uh, actual combat in the game, like um, health bars, you know. It's probably the most unique Sonic game that's like in this entire list, if not like for like a long while, the most unique Sonic game, you know. Um, this game offers a whole lot for its moveset, of course. There is currently only two stages, that being the main stage and then the tutorial stage, you know. But uh, even with those two stages, it's still like a very good game. But there's like a whole lot that this game offers, so I'm very excited. And there is a lot of potential for the future releases of this game, so please stay tuned for this. Like the learning curve is is a bit like hard to get used to. At first, but after you get the game's like mechanics down packed, then it's actually like, very fun to really play it through. So have an open mind when trying to play this game. Have an open mind for sure. But besides that, a very good game, so I had to add it to this list. So yeah. All right, next up we have Sonic Emerald Ties. This is an OG fan game on this list as well. Yes, yeah, Sonic Emerald Ties. Uh, this game came out. Originally in Sage 2017, I believe. Yeah, there was no updates for like a good four years until this year. Emerald Ties is basically a 2D Sonic fan game, but your model Sonic in it. Uh, the stages are actually pretty damn good. Like the stage design and all that is very good. You know, music is too. The entire game has basically a modern Sonic aesthetic to it, which makes it very, very, very appealing with, with its sprite work. Obviously, you know, just like the music, all that shit. So it looks very, very good. There's power-ups too, uh, got all the shields from the Sonic 3, of course, and the Hyper Rings from Mania. And the drop dash is in this game actually as well, which is, you know, gotta have that in here too, of course. But, you know, it's cool, so I don't mind that, of course. I don't mind that. But yeah, we need some more stages in this game. Need more stages to, um, you know, to praise it even more, because I really love this game a lot. Love this game a whole lot, so, um, yeah, it's a very, very good game. Uh, very OG, so I hope y'all try it out, okay? Alright, next game on this list is Sonic Smackdown. Alright, this game is the Sonic fighting game that everyone likes to talk about, of course, because it's very cool. A lot of combo game in this game as well, of course. There's like a lot of actual characters. Uh, the OG cast is complete, like, uh, got Cream, Blaze, Silver, Mecha Sonic. Mighty the Armadillo. There's a whole lot of characters, actually. A whole lot of characters, man. I'm telling you, so many people to play as and all that. Like the matchup you can have: a Sonic and Shadow, Amy and Cream, Silver and Blaze, etc., etc. Like, it's very cool, very cool. Not much else to say about the game besides that it's very fun. So play with your friends, play on your own, whatever. Just play this game. I promise you, you will not regret it.
All right, so number three, we got ourselves Sonic Storm, and this game really adds like a whole new kind of formula, whole new kind of gameplay for 3D Sonic uh, formula and all that kind of shit. Like the state design, like the movements, the move set in general is just like entirely brand new, so that really makes like the gameplay very, very, very unique in this game, of course. As well as the whole aesthetic for the game as well, actually, you know, with the models and all that, the character designs, the music, etc., etc. Obviously, it's made to look like it's a like, a game from like the PS1 eras, you know, like all the low polys, of course, which is like the, the main purpose, of course, of the game. So it's very cool, very cool, very creative direction that they're going in. Very creative, man. I really like this game. I just played it, in fact, and it just came out the public uh, test fire demo uh, about a few days ago. So be sure to check it out, play it for yourself, etc. It's very fun, you know, and uh, yeah. Alright, coming in at number 2, we got Sonic Roboblast 2. Okay, and as you know, this fan game is a, a long time running game, okay? So this fan game basically just attempts to make the original Sonic experience, but in 3D. And its sprites are, are very appealing, so with the save design, level design, etc. And you gain momentum, and then you can uh, obviously advance in the stages a lot easier. It sounds like you're running the mill uh, average uh, fan game, but... It goes beyond that with how much potential there is in this game. It's like an open source game, so the mod potential is actually very, very easy. Like, there's like a ton of mods. There's a ton of mods, I promise you. Pretty sure there's more mods in this game than there is in Sonic Generation, which says a lot, you know? It says a whole lot, like different characters from different series, of course. It's got its own kart racing game, which is its own thing, and that has mods too, of course, and stage mods and etc. like that, but this game's legacy is too important not to be on any of these kinds of lists, alright, so I had to have it here. Okay, so yeah, it's very, very, very fun. There's co-op in the game too, so be sure to play with your friends, of course, and on to number one. And that game that surpasses even Roblox 2 is Sonic Project 06, y'all, okay? Project 06 got its recent update this past year, which added in Shadow as a playable character. And you know the deal. Project 06 basically aims to recreate the original Sonic 06 into the Unity engine from the ground up. That's right. So, you know, it's poured in and basically everything that the actual game itself had. Uh, all the stages, all the characters are going to be playable etc i'm not sure if the actual story mode is going to be in the game but i imagine that it would be eventually when the whole game is complete this game has been very 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 well received by many in the community you know and i think that the shadow being added in the game you know like another part of the game being finally added in and made more playable and just like a better experience than it originally was just makes sense number one on this list you know um yeah, so Chaos X is just putting in mad work to this game, like he's gonna add some of the features that weren't in the original 06 that were cut out from the game, of course. So that's very cool. Obviously, it's more playable than the original game was, like, you know, like all the glitches and shit, etc. Like all the bugs, of course. But he is definitely doing his best, and I think it is a damn good job, of course, so that's why it made number one on this list. Like, it's a very good game. Like, it's way more accessible now. Like, like all the settings that he added to this, like graphics, of course, etc. Um, it'd be cool if he added a multiplayer in eventually as well, you know, like the local shit that was available on the OG game, of course. Um, but yeah, man, he put so much work into this. He put so much work into this game, like for the ground up as well. I'm, I'm telling you, like, it's so cool. Like, the animations are being redone by him as well. Like, the models are being tweaked and stuff cutscenes like he's adding his own cutscene to the game as well actually for some mistakes like for uh king of valley and sonic story <laughs> it's very cool mad work putting into this game so it had to be here for number one man it had to be here for number one so yeah guys but i think that's gonna be it for this uh list of top 10 best sonic fan games for 2021 um i've been wanting to do this for about a week now i think yeah <laughs> over a week for sure i just felt that it'd be cool since i've been really like on like a sonic high basically after the new frontiers trailer 
and the movie trailer dropped during the Game Awards. I've just been really like on my Sonic shit lately, so how to get it done for y'all, how to get it done. How to get this done for y'all, so yeah. Hope y'all enjoy it. Feel free to leave down any games that I did not include in the comments down below. Of course, again, this is only my opinion. It's not an objectively uh, ranked um, list, okay? So don't, you know, get your pants in a twist or whatever the catchphrase is. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so hope y'all enjoyed this video, SCG. I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow, probably, or stream, and or stream, and stream, probably, yeah. Anyways. I'll see y'all tomorrow, guys. Have a good day. Peace out. All the good stuff. Take care and goodbye. And peace, SCG. And take care.